Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good on this terrific Thursday. I know I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, even share if you feel comfortable. And if at the end of the video, if you feel free and comfortable on that too, you can go ahead and drop me a couple of lines. I love to hear positive uh, comments. And love and light and blessings to you and namaste. And thank you for the support and coming to see what I'm about. And if you are a returning sub, as always, thank you for the love and support. Namaste and love and blessings and love and light to you. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. We are born to win. Guys, we're, we all have a purpose in our life. You know, there we all have a purpose. It's just like when I go out and I read, read comments on Facebook, different social media things and... I see a lot of people are depressed. I, I I did videos about this before. And it's like for our INFJ and empath and you know, it's oh Jesus. You know, we soak in a lot of emotion and it's like, you know, I hear people say, Why do I feel like I'm I'm you know, I'm alone all the time? Um, why do I feel like I'm not loved? Or um, why do I feel like I don't matter? We're all here born to win. You have to be able to just see it inside yourself to know that. And it's just hard to do that, you know, if you have been in abusive, you know, abusive childhood. You know, I was in abusive childhood. And, or you're in abusive relationships. Or, you know, it can even be your family, you know, family members that, you know, can be very abusive. So it will put you in a box to analyze you to make you believe that. But it's just the point is, and I've said in different videos, our minds are limitless. You have to stop putting yourself in a box to believe that it just goes right here when you're supposed to go right here. And today I'm listening to Chinese Zen music. It's just so comfortable and relaxing. And, you know, it makes me feel like I'm on cloud nine. I'm just high on life right now. And it, it's just like... um going through all these different emotions it's just like i feel this and sometimes i have to back away you know and there's sometimes i'll go out and it, it just feels like i'm trying to be a mother to everybody <laughs> and even i mean they could be older than me and i still feel like i'm trying to be a mother to them and it's just like i tell people you matter you're important you uh you have a beautiful soul it's just sometimes you need that person to recognize it even though we can we have it inside ourselves, but sometimes we don't see it because we're too busy looking at all the negative things around us. And I've said that too. We we tend to do that. And you have to be able to see this inside yourself. It's just like some people tell me, you know, I feel like I don't have a soul. And it's just like, unless you're like um, the omen, <laughs> everybody, I feel like everybody has a soul. Everybody has a soul unless you've sold it, you know. And it's just like, you have to be able to learn that within yourself. And it usually takes us to go through different things. And it's like, you know, nothing happens by accident. And nothing happens by coincidence. Life is really, you know, we go through random things. It's just like a lot of people are starting to come towards me. And it's just like, they're learning. As I'm learning off of them, they're learning off of me. And it's just like when you feel like you don't matter or, you know, your opinion doesn't count. Yes, it does. Even though sometimes it's just like when we vote, you know, even though it's just like, you know, they say, your, you know, your opinion counts. It's just sometimes they already go ahead and choose who they want anyway. It's just us entertaining the situation. And we're all in these different stories. And it's just like God already knows and the universe already knows basically our plans. You know, it's just up to us to be able to make it right and it's like when you keep categorizing yourself and putting yourself in that box saying you know i will never be loved or you know i feel like i don't matter you're pushing it like i say you're pushing that into the universe and you have to be able to believe that you have to have that self-confidence you have to have that self-love for yourself and i used to be that way because i felt like you know my family used to tell me you know they always used to say bad things they never gave me any kind of encouragement if it was it wasn't that often you know and i had to be able to learn and break away from that and there's just certain people even though if it even if it's your family boo boo you won't have to let them go 
you know, I had to let my family go. This is the people I grew up with that I, I only knew. But it was like they have, they down taught me so bad. You know, they would do it in front of my children to where my children had started acting like that towards me. And I had to cut that off. Like, hold up. You know, you need to have respect. You know, you need to have respect for yourself enough to be able to walk away from things that doesn't feel right to you, that makes you feel bad, that makes you feel, you know, when things make you feel uncomfortable, you're supposed to go through stuff like that to get where you need to be. So it's just like when you go through this, guys, you do matter. You are loved. You have a beautiful soul. I tell people all the time, and it could be the most beautiful people out there and have the most ugliest hearts just because of that. And it's like, you know, sometimes I can tell people that and they take it off as flirting. And it's not me flirting with you. It's just the fact is I'm trying to help you build that confidence that I can see inside yourself. And sometimes it has to be that person looking on the outside in just to know, you know, you do matter. You are important. You're loved. You just have to be able to see it yourself. It's just like look in the mirror and just, you know, stare at yourself and just see what you feel. Because, you know, you'll get them little voices inside your head. Like, you know, why why are you, you know, that ego. Don't listen to that ego because that ego will mess you up every time. Listen to that inner voice, that inner angel inside of you. You do matter. You do count. You are somebody. You're loved. You know, some people, but if you keep attracting that negative, that's all the type of people you are going to attract inside yourself. And you don't want to do that. So, I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I'm going to go ahead and make another video about a mashup of um, the NFJs. It's just more stuff that I, I feel like I need to talk about with that. So, um, I hope you guys are having a blessed week and, you know, a prosper, prosperous one. And I will keep you guys in my prayers and much love to you. And I will talk to you later. And please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification button. You can drop me a comment if you feel free. And like I said today, I'm listening to uh, the Chinese Zen music. And it's very comfortable and stuff like that. And I hope everybody has a blessed weekend and happy holidays. Peace and be wild.